A small area of the Shenango Lake Reservoir is under an algae advisory. Although it's just a small section of the lake, it was enough to cancel a Friday paddleboard event. 27 First News reporter Rod Cowan talked to fishermen about the advisory. Any problem eating those? No, no, they're good eating. You're not, you're not worried about the blue-green algae? Not at all. No, that's the best eating right there. Rich Jardina from Greenville has been fishing this lake since he was a kid. The water was high all spring. It was really high, so we're just starting to get out now. Later on, water's come back down. Did you hear about the blue-green algae? I've been hearing people talking about it, but I haven't seen it. The lack of rain and unseasonably warm temperatures lately are suspected to have caused the late season algae bloom around the Chestnut Run swimming area, which is already closed for the season. The Army Corps of Engineers found out that after testing, it turned out to be blue-green algae. In a statement, the acting manager of Shenango Lake, Bill Spring, says this is an advisory. We don't want to make this any bigger than it is. This is a small impact area. Hurley Mall drove four and a half hours from Hershey, PA today to Shenango Lake. He was aware of the advisory but did not deter him from taking his two sons scouting the lake for tomorrow's high school fishing tournament. I'm actually practicing for the state high school fishing tournament that is going to be held on Saturday and Sunday. It's a two-day tournament and today's our one of our two practice days. They ran into local fisherman Dan Bowles from Hermitage who gave them some advice and some spots to check out. He has fished this lake extensively and says he gets algae every time on his boats but it's more brownish than blue or green. The Corps reminds people to avoid any areas that may have a mucky blue-green algae floating on the surface. There are neurotoxins in the blue-green algae that could affect the very young, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. In South Pomatumi Township, Rod Cowan, WKBN 27 First News.